So today we are going to talk about how do you bulk update the phone lines. For example, if you want to update hundreds of phone lines for your Cisco Jabber or Cisco IP phones, how could you quickly do this, you know, by creating a small script and uh, following the same methods, you could also bulk update a lot of other objects inside the Cisco Unified Communications Manager. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amit Singh and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't yet done so and please like the videos if you think they are helpful and also share this channel to other colleagues and people because in July there is an upcoming live training session for four hours. So we have a Facebook group and on this Facebook group, uh, we have been selecting some topics with other guys and uh, there are some selected topics. And if you want, you could also join this Facebook group that's called as Cisco Collaboration, but that's not an official Cisco collaboration group, you know. So just search for this. I would also share the link for this Cisco Collaboration group on this uh, description of the video. And... Uh, I would share the further information about this mini course in my Facebook group, you know. So let's get started for today's session, which is on DevOps. And uh, I hope you guys would enjoy this. So let's just uh, talk about first, how do you modify <clears throat> an object? For example, if you would like to modify the directory number, okay? So I'll just go to SOAP UI. I have opened the SOAP UI. If you don't know about how do you access all these requests, so see my previous videos to get an overview. So I've just copied this update line request and then I will just do control A, control C and then we'll do, I will just, okay. So this is, the the request that I have copied now let's just make it short and then let's just choose whatever we want here it says that I have a choice of the next two items at this level that means either I can put the UUID for the directory number that I would like to modify or just put the directory number itself here so today I'm just gonna leave the UUID because I then just need to get go ahead and do a get request and then get a UUID for the pattern and then insert this UUID here. Instead of that, what I'll just do is I'll just add a pattern, for example, pattern 1004. So let's just make sure that we have this pattern 1004 here. So directory number. And then let's show 1004 okay so we have this 1004 let's just put this 1004 in global minus pt okay you could leave it in none or whatever partition uh, you have i'm just doing it for myself uh, so that i can show you guys Okay, so this is now in a partition global minus PT and then we would like to modify this number uh, to some other number. So let's just say <coughs> we want to modify 1004 to 1004. You know, we just modify this complete number let's just see just see what happens is it still associated with the device or uh, not let's just uh, see that okay so in my code here i will say the pattern is 1004 i would like to modify this i'll just remove this comment now because i don't need this anymore i'll just make it nice and clean this is the optional parameter that means you can leave this and it will search for all the patterns with 1004 and then update it. I just don't want that to happen. I have a partition name. So what I'll do is I will put the partition name here. So global minus PT. <coughs> and this is 
the new pattern so what is the new would you like to modify this pattern i said yes i would like to modify it to let's say one triple zero four you know and that's it uh, i just uh, want to keep it short so i would not uh, enter all this information but you can do so as you see these are all the optional items that means you can remove them if you don't want them you know all of them are optional so all these optional items i will remove it from my request so now my request looks nice and clean you know that's it this is my request and then now this 1004 should be modified to 1004 if it's in the right partition okay all right so let's just put it in this request so this is our postman uh, you have seen this already you know and uh, authorization you should put in the api username and password yet you create in the cisco unified communications manager if you don't know please do visit my last videos and then you will you will know how do you create an application user okay these are the headers and here i will say update line you know because we are updating the line and the soap object or the object api object that is uh, responsible for this is update line okay and in the body i have a soap request in the soap request you will see that uh, it mentions the first uh, line about where is the uh, source of this uh, wstl file and then rest of the informations that we copied okay and then let's just do send so this is post and then this is the uh, endpoint url so https the ip address of the cisco unified communications manager port 8443 slash axl slash forward slash okay so then let's just do send and see what happens next and voila here you see there is an object id that has been returned that means this object has been updated and now let's just go to Cisco Unified Communications Manager and then see if this object exists in Cisco Unified Communications Manager. So I go to directory number and you see that it has deleted 1004 and now if we search for 1004, this item has been created. You see that. And you see that the device is still associated with this directory number. That means this way, if you want to, for example, modify a device from uh, four digit extensions or five digit extensions to, let's just talk about plus E164 numbers, you know? So for example, if you have a device uh, for now, which has a five digit extension, but for any reason the the organization wants to move to plus e164 number you know then it will be a huge task to modify all the directory numbers for all the devices you know <clears throat> so the easiest way would be to follow um, this step you know that the one we were discussing using a uh, so postman is usually only a testing tool you know it's not really an application where you would do this i would highly suggest you guys you know work together with someone who knows a front end web development and create your own very small tool which can help you in your day to day tasks you know and uh, just just learn more because you do a lot of things in communications manager but today's need is that you get highly skilled you develop your skills you know and get smarter work smarter all right so we will slowly and gradually move towards that goal wherein we will be creating a small tool to carry our day-to-day -day tasks but for now the next task that we will do now is do a bulk update of let's say 10 phone numbers for now from five digits to plus e164 
and then let's just see how it works. Is it successful or not? So the first thing that we would be making use of is variables, you know, so environment variables in the Postman application. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to create something called as uh, variables and then these variable inputs will be coming in from the CSV file that we create and in this CSV file we will put all the informations that is needed to update the line. So for updating a line we will use the same code or same request that we have used. So the input that we need is a pattern and the new pattern and I hope so that the route partition for each and every directory number is same you know if you want to modify that you could also do that by putting it inside the CSV file. So in the CSV file what we'll have we'll have two columns so these two columns will be two variables so one of the variables we will name it as line old you know and the other variable for the new directory number we will uh, name it as line new okay so once we name this variable and then we put all the informations we make a nice CSV file and then we will see how do we update the uh, line okay so let's just open uh, Excel file okay and in this Excel file we will say line old line new right and then we are gonna change the directory numbers let's just say from 1001 until 1005 okay we just we are just testing so I just say from 1000 I think it was yeah three zeros so one zero 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 one and then one zero 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 two and then one zero 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 three and then one zero 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 four and then one zero 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 five okay so this is the old line and the new line that we are gonna have is the plus e164 so you know that with the for the plus e164 we need a black backslash sorry and then let's just say I will just put one two three four five uh, four, five, uh, six, and then the last five digits. One, one, for example, like this. Okay, and so this is a plus even six four number that we are gonna create. So we just update, and we hope that the new devices are having the new plus even six four number, and not just the number and no device. You know that means we should not delete the device we should just update the lines okay so we just save this excel file as a csv so okay so this file is saved as a csv file and we'll just open this file in the notepad and we make sure that uh, it opens correctly so we have just opened this file in the csv and you see that instead of a comma we have a semicolon or uh, so what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm not an Excel expert, but I'm sure that there is an option inside the Excel uh, or in your system, Windows system, wherein you could uh, say, okay, instead of a semicolon, uh, please use a comma, you know? So just check, l there are a lot of YouTube videos if you want, but I'm just, because it's a short file, I'll just copy this and then I will say replace it with a comma and I will replace everything you see that now it looks like a nice comma separated file these are the two variables that we have created then and it opens nicely as you can see here so the next thing that we are gonna do is uh, we are gonna make sure that we have these variables defined inside the postman so we'll just define this variable as the global variables so how do you define the variables if you are not sure please do watch my previous videos where I have done the bulk um, jabber addition you know uh, 
or we can do it here as well. I can I can show you again. So you go to manage environments on this top right corner and then click on globals. And then here we will define the new variable. Let's say the new variable is line old and line new. Okay. So we are just gonna use these two variables today, line old and line new. Click on save, close it. So here, uh, what we'll, we'll do is inside the pattern, we will not define the numbers. Now we will say that this is a variable and the way to define variable in Postman is with the two curly braces or the brackets. And here you will give the name of the variable. So first one was line old because here you will define the old extension in the pattern inside this pattern tag and in the route partition name tag you will define the route partition that is global minus pt and this comes from here if you see it is in the global minus pt partition and then the new pattern will be in the new variable that we have defined so line new this is our variable and authorization is same basic authorization and then the username and password for the excel api user and then you have to define the headers so action content type and the header value is cucm colon db version equals 12.5 update line and then content type is application javascript or xml and it will accordingly be parsed by the postman and then here, here you have all the body everything looks fine and then let's just um, import the csv file and how do you do this you click on runner and then inside the runner i have my request inside this folder phone and then here i will say i don't need add phone i don't need add phone bulk i just need bulk update line request you know and then here i just select no environment but it will still use the global variables you know that we have defined and then we just click on select file and then i select the csv file that we have created and the good thing is that you could also see a preview if your uh, information is correct your csv format is correct or not and here you see that the format is very well um, formatted you know so how many iterations it should be five iterations so it automatically shows you there is a five iterations and i'll say a delay of let's say two milliseconds just to be on the safer side you know and then hopefully it should work fine now um, let's just to run phone and then here you will see the operations going on 20% 26% and uh, yeah only the first one was successful but the second and third and fourth and fifth was with a 500 internal server error and why was this let's check that okay i don't know let's try again maybe it's because of the delay so let's just do a runner and then i will say phone and then just bulk update line and then i will select my file again and then I will see if it's correctly formatted ah sorry so it takes the same number again and again here you see the extension number I, I forgot to f give the right number so all right uh, we need to format our CSV file now it's five save it and now it should be fine hopefully open the runner again phone update bulk update line select no environment select file open preview 
okay now you see it's correctly formatted and uh, so sometimes when i talk even if i look i do not i'm not able to uh, rectify these errors so i need to see properly you can't do two tasks at the same time right okay i'm not good in multitasking <laughs> all right okay so this time hopefully the first one should fail and the rest one rest should be okay because the first is the first number is already updated so i will do run perfect here you see the first one has failed 500 internal server error but the rest of them have been updated with a 200 okay successful message so let's just go ahead and then find out our directory numbers and see if they have been modified and voila here you see that 1001 is modified it is no more available here it's modified modified to uh, the plus e164 format this is what we wanted you know so in brief uh, i will tell you what we did uh, quickly so we just went to soap ui and then i did a file create new project you know i created a new project and then inside this project um, then this one appeared here or the this project for the i named this project as update and then all the excel api bindings appeared here and then i just clicked on um, update line request you know and then i just wanted to have a ready-made request that's why i did it but uh, slowly and gradually we will try to develop our own request i just copied it from here and then modified the request whatever what we needed and removed everything else and then just copied that in the postman here in the raw body and then we just went to runner and uh, you know imported the csv file and in the csv file uh, we added the information that was needed and we created two variables line old and line new and we um, added the information for line old and line new in the csv file and we also created the environment here in the postman and then we selected these two environments so that they are used during the iterations for every iterations and uh, successfully when we went ahead and ran the runner it was successful and yeah all the lines were accordingly updated i hope this was um, interesting session for you guys and you guys could um, test your codes i will say this time with the postman and not really use it during the production maybe for some short uh, updates it's okay but not really for the production environment you know it's only for the testing purpose i would say it's safe to test your codes if they are okay or not right so yeah keep developing keep learning share some more information if you think you can uh, have some more optimized way of doing this and uh, yeah, let's see which one is quicker doing it via the cucm or doing it via the postman please post your comments i would be very much interested to know about it okay guys thank you very much and uh, watch out my next videos on devops and uh, see you soon